Lightning attack here. Is that good, everyone? Let me know. Okay, great. I'm going to get started here, and uh, we're going to lecture here tonight. Welcome, everyone. My name is Melissa Armel, and I own the stock Swoosh, and I'm going to lecture tonight about how you can earn up to $20,000 a month day trading. And, <coughs> excuse me, I'll have to, uh, excuse me, I'm get, just getting over a cold. So if I have to cough here in the mic, I apologize. Uh, but if you have any questions, you can just write it in the room, okay? I appear on Fox News and Fox Business. In fact, I'll be on tomorrow, Tuesday, you can watch me. And I often talk about the market. I talk about the market in specific stocks sometimes, but I really talk about the market a lot on Fox. So it's very interesting talking about the market on TV. Now, every day in the trading room, we look for specific stocks, different stocks. But I do think it's important to look at the market, okay? If you have any questions, you can email me at melissa at thestockswish.com <coughs> or you can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, Pinterest, or Skype. Okay? Kathy, I have the volume up as loud as it can go. I'm sorry. Uh, maybe, it's, uh, maybe I'm not talking as loud because I've been coughing. Can everybody hear me? <coughs> For some reason, I am having a coughing attack. Can everybody hear me? I'm sorry. <coughs> Jeez, I'm really having a coughing attack. I have it up as loud as it can go. Can everybody hear me? Okay. Anyways, when you're looking to do this, I really think it's important to, to have a goal or a reason. Why are you doing this? Okay, why do you want to trade? Ultimately, it's about being inspired, having goals. This is a good quote. No dream is too big. You just have to become the person the dream challenges you to be. That's a quote from Aaliyah St. James. I actually met her. Uh, you know, when you have this dream, you say, well, I want to do this for a career. You might think that seems impossible. If you've been attempting to trade and failing to, to do well in the market, for 5, 10, 15, 20 years. It doesn't mean it's impossible, okay? Having big dreams is okay. You just need a way, a plan of action to achieve those dreams, okay? So who is day trading for? Anyone who wants to make fast money. By fast, I mean obviously between the hours of 9.30 and 4 o'clock when the market is open. It's only six and a half hours. Anyone who wants the opportunity to make a lot of money, because obviously there's millions of dollars, billions of dollars in the market. You just have to have a small piece of that to earn an income. Anyone that wants to work from home and anyone that wants to be their own boss. You would be your own boss if you traded for yourself. You work for yourself, okay? So how can you earn up to $20,000 a month in the market? You need a strict strategy to trade to follow, okay? Now, I put all the results here going back since the beginning of 2019. This is all with an advanced risk. So the, this, this risk amount is about $2,000. So today we're going to talk about making actually uh, a risk that would be only $1,000 per trade. So your results, you could just divide this, your results in these trades by half because this is actually even a higher risk, okay? But I'm showing you here what an advanced risk so year to date, 49,560. And again, it's only February 18th. Market was closed today. So if you were on pace for this, given the number of trading days I have in here, because I was sick some of the days and off some of the days for the holiday, you would be looking at making an approximate risk of what you would need to make 20 grand a month, $1,000 per trade. Okay, so that's part of the plan of action. How much money do you need to risk per trade to achieve these results? Okay, that's part of it. That's not the strategy, but that's your monetary goal, your financial goal. So that's part of it. So know why you are doing this. Just extra money or do you want to do this for a career? Know how much money you want to risk 
how much you need, okay, how much you need in a trading account, how much you need to risk per trade, know what your goals are per week. So usually I try to take one trade a day. Some days in there you saw I took more than one. So some days you have to give yourself two trades, all right? But if I take a trade in the morning and it works right away, it's out of the gate, and I get my goal in for the day, then I'm, then I'm usually done. I don't do any other trades, even if we see other setups, okay? Because again, it has to do with setting your goals. So if your goal is to make $1,000 a day and you achieve that goal, if you take a second trade, you're obviously putting more money at risk. It's not about being a pig in the market. It really is about being very focused and strategic with what you do. Just going in and chunking it out, I say. Taking what you, what you have, pulling the money out of the market in a set course of action. <clears throat> and if you have any questions, I see some people signing in. Just write it in the room, okay, if you signed in late. Anyways, can you make this kind of money in the market with no prior experience? I get this question a lot, too. The answer is yes. Sometimes, if you have no experience, it's even better. I have a woman in the room, in the trading room, that did the class in October. She's a nurse. She quit one of her part-time jobs. She had two part-time jobs and just gave notice of the other one. She's doing well. She's averaging $1,000 a day. She had no experience prior to taking my class, even trading. She listens to me, okay? Sometimes people have learned stuff that has screwed them up created losses and then when they come to me they have to unlearn those things and that sometimes is challenging for people but I'm telling you if you have no experience you might be better off that's not to say if you've traded in the past you can't do this you can but I'm telling you you may have to unlearn certain things that you've been doing that have been creating losses for you that just aren't correct and and I and I say this because I've, I've been calling the market very well and as you as I said before I'm on TV <clears throat> some of you know that that are on my YouTube, a lot of people were bearish on the market, October, November, December. I was still bullish on the market. It's very obvious now to see the markets held the uptrend. It's, people are still bearish on the market, which is crazy to me. But anyways, long story short, not everybody looks at things right. Everybody might be looking at the same chart, but not everybody's looking at things in the same way. So you got to learn how to look at something in a way that's going to make you money okay because that's really all that you care about when you're doing this profits okay seeing the results the results is the money so how can you do this for a living the other piece of it is the focus on one strategy so i'm not jumping around from thing to thing to thing to thing i'm only doing gaps now this is a chart of the qqqs okay it's a market etf and i'm going to explain to you what a gap is a gap is the difference between the close and the open. So there are bullish gaps and there are bearish gaps, okay? So this is a daily chart of the QQQs. So the market closed here, gapped up. So this is a gap up. Here's the close of four o'clock, here's the open at 9.30. It closed here, gapped up, rally. Here's another gap up, closed here, gapped up, rally. So those are bullish gaps. I prefer to short. <coughs> so a lot of times I'm focusing on bearish gaps. Okay, so this is a bearish gap. What happened here? Market closed at one price here, gap down. So it closed at one price and opened at a lower price and fell. This is a bearish gap. And actually, if you'd shorted the market that day, you would have made money. The market fell. Here's another bearish gap here. Closed here, gap down. Closed at one price, opened at a different price, fell. Boom. Okay, so this is a bearish gap. This is a bearish gap too. And then over here, I showed you bullish gaps. So there's a lot of gaps in, in, in a chart, in any given chart. The idea is to predict what stock is going to have a move, and preferably a big move, on the live day that you can trade, whether long or short, in a direction to make money. Because that's how you are going to make money, okay? So it's about the how, what, and when. How do you make money in the market? Trade a strategy that is profitable. Professional gaps are a highly profitable strategy because they create large momentum to trade. What stocks should you trade? Now, this is what I look at. I have a system. I'm looking at rating them each morning. I'm looking at 26 points. So I look to find stocks that gap and rate 20 points or more per my golden gap 26 point rating system. So it doesn't have to have a perfect score for me. It has to have a high score. So for me, that high score is 20 or more. 20 means a lot. And then I trade the gap in the direction of the gap. So if a stock is gapping down, I rate it. 
and I look to short it if it rates 20 points or more. If a stock is gapping up, I look to go long it if it rates 20 points or more, okay? That's where the high odds, it's about odds. It's about playing the odds when you're trading because not every trade is going to work. You're looking at the odds, high odds. So if I say, well, 26 things, it sounds like a lot, yeah. But if I get 20 or more, if I get a lot, then I have a high odds that the trade is going to work and that the money that I invest in the trade, the $1,000, $2,000, whatever you're putting up to, to risk in the trade is worth the risk because there are lots of trades out there that people are doing that are bad trades that aren't worth the risk. It's not, you can't look at it like it's a 50-50 crapshoot. You have to look at it like it's high odds, okay? So when do I trade them? Early in the morning when they open and set up and trigger. And I'll say this right now, <coughs> Kathy has the information. If you'd like to trial the trading room this week, doing an open house Tuesday through Friday, you can come in the live trading room and watch and observe, okay? And you'll see what we do. We're looking to get in really quick between 9.30 and 10 a.m. So I have a free open house this week if you wanna come. But again, you've gotta be there before 9.30 because we're getting in the trades when? In the morning, okay? So one strategy is really all you need to be successful. That is all you need to make money in the market and earn a good living. And these are professional gaps. That's what they're called. And I'll explain what that means in a minute. But playing professional gaps is a powerful strategy that offers the opportunity to earn up to $20,000 a month or way more. Okay. It just depends how much you're risking. And this is as an individual trader. Traders can book profits with substantial gains in a timely fashion early in the morning. So you can make money to pay your bills, live a full life, and work in less than an hour a day. Because usually I'm getting that quick. Now, Friday, Friday, I don't have the trade for Friday in here, but Friday was the market. The market, you could have gotten out of early, or you could have held it all day and had a bigger move. Sometimes if something goes all day, you can stay with it, or you can just take it in the morning. But wherever it goes in the morning, you're out. But really, in an ideal world, getting in and out quick is my favorite days, okay? So I focus on one strategy that I replicate over and over and over and over and over. And I've been doing this now for more than 10 years. Okay, I've been doing gas for more than 10 years. I started out trading in 2008. <coughs> and I'm telling you that that's one of the reasons I've become such an expert because it's a, I've been doing it for a long time and I've been doing just this. I don't jump around. And even when I'm doing an option, it's really using my same strategy, okay? <coughs> Makes sense? So professional gaps are a strategy that can generate up to $20,000 a month or more in profits. This is a good income, an income that could pay many people's bills. Some people uh, don't even need this amount to pay their bills. So I'm going to go over now what are the top 10 reasons to trade gaps because it's really, it's really in the gap. People say, what is the special thing that you do? What's the secret, secret sauce? It's, it's the gap. People that trade the market don't understand how important gaps are, and they happen in every chart. Not every gap is important that's in the chart, but gaps are important in a chart. you got to pick the good ones, okay? So top 10 reasons to trade gaps is what? Number one, fast profits. Most of the time, when a stock gaps or the market, it has a fast move, meaning between 9.30 and 10 a.m. Eastern time. Could even happen between 9.30 and 9.35, 9.30 and 9.40, okay, pretty quickly. Reason number two to trade gaps, a good risk to reward setup. What am I looking for? If you're risking 1,000, you're looking to make 1,000. You're risking 2,000, you're looking to make 2,000. So you're looking to turn your money over one, okay? That is a good risk to reward. It's not like scalping for two cents, three cents, five cents, 10 cents. If you risk a dollar, you're looking to make a dollar. Okay, does everyone understand? <coughs> That's a good risk to reward. Reason number three to trade gaps. You can book money early. Now, whether that is the high of the day or the low of the day, if you're in a short, by 10 a.m., you don't know, but I find you get big moves that happen in the morning so you could get out early. And I say 10 o'clock, 10, 15. Now, if you want to hold something longer, that's totally, totally up to you. But you're looking for the move fast. And so gaps really do have the ability to move so that you can book money quickly. Reason four to trade gaps, large profits. And it's because of the movement. It's because of the volatility. It's because of the momentum. It's because the moves happen quickly. So, for example, you could risk $1,000 and make two grand, $2,500, 
in five, 10 minutes. That happens all the time in the moves that we get in stocks, particularly in earnings season. And right now it is earnings season in the market. Reasons number five to trade gaps, they have momentum. Now, what do I mean? This was a gap from Friday, NWL, this was a short. So momentum means big move. So here's what this stock did. The stock closed up here the night before around 21.75 and gapped down in the morning around 19, fell. What's the low of the day in this? Almost 17. In fact, it might've went right to 17 or just above. This is a huge move for a stock at this price point. Look at the bar. This is the biggest bar in this chart going back several months, okay? More than two bucks. So that's momentum. So if you shorted this on a Friday, you made money. That is momentum, that's a big move. Again, you gotta get it right. If you went long this stock, you lost money, okay? If you, if you didn't know this stock existed, if you didn't see it, if you didn't watch it, you didn't have the opportunity to take the trade, okay? You had to be able to find it. And this was a gap. It's a gap that rated high per my golden gap system. Okay. And I'm looking at that and I'm predicting that before it happens. That's the beauty and the genius of it. <coughs> before the open. But we're not taking trades in the pre-market, just so you know. Reason number six to trade gaps, long-term trading. Okay. Long-term trading. So you have you know, the gap happens, for example, an NWL or say Amazon app or something in the market, you can use my system for long-term investing, swing trades, options trades that you could take out for several weeks or several months, several years, all right? It's because the gap itself, that when you find a good gap, again, that raised 20 points or more, it's so powerful. It's powerful, the moves. And, and a lot of times those moves have follow through and continuation, okay? Reason number seven to trade gaps, work for yourself from home. This is a very attractive thing. Many, many people go to jobs, they commute, their days are not eight hours, they're 10 hours or longer, okay? When you day trade, you're only working the hours the market is open and you're working from home, no commuting. Reason number eight to trade gaps, institutions trade gaps. What do I mean? Big banks, hedge funds, Big, big, big traders. This is a chart of the SPY. Okay, this is the S&P ETF. You have institutions that move the market. <coughs> Excuse me. And the positive thing about that is it makes it easy for you to see where the direction is. Where is it going to go? Okay? And that's how you know to get in. Here's the rally that I called in the market here towards the end of last year. So this was December 26. Again, this is the SPY. Beautiful rally. We, we've almost never looked back. Only a few red days in the market here in the last month and a half. Reason number nine to trade gaps, personal freedom, which is obviously working for yourself. You don't have a boss. You choose how much you're risking. You choose how many days a week you're trading. You choose the trades you're taking. You choose the time of the day that you're trading too, okay? And reason number 10 to trade gaps, it's a strategy that can pay you income for a living because of the momentum and the volatility like I showed you in NWL and even the market, okay? Any questions so far? <coughs> All right, so let's talk. Golden gaps are qualified professional gaps. What is a professional gap? A professional gap is a gap that moves in the direction of the gap. It is called a professional gap because professional traders and investors are making and creating the gap. That's why they're so powerful. That's also why very often they continue. In the case of a bullish gap, professionals are buying the stock. Therefore, the stock moves higher in the trading day. In the case of a bearish gap, professionals are selling or shorting the stock. Therefore, the stock moves lower on the trading day. This is why actually, though, I do prefer bearish gaps. Gaps that gap down have two things that happen in them. They have selling and they have shorts. So they have double the potential for a move and they also have panic. People are more likely to sell out of something when they're down very, very quickly rather than go long it. If I said, oh, such and such stock is a good long, you might not jump right on in top of that. You might think about it and think about it and think about it and by that, you know, take a couple of days. Whereas if you're in a position and you're down, you're not gonna think that hard. You're going to probably kill it pretty quickly, okay? Again, it's the panic. So professional gaps. Here is 
what I mean by a bullish event. Lulu. Now I'm going back to Lulu. This was a trade back in the beginning of January. <coughs> Excuse me, middle of January here. Stock close to your gap up. Boom. This is Lulu. So this is a bullish event. Notice the follow through. So we did this one here. This was the 14. Stock price here was around 137-ish, 136. Boom. Look where the stock went within that period. 158. Okay. What about NWL? We looked at this one here. This is a bearish gap. Again, a bearish event. Stock close to your gap down. We already talked about this, the big move that it had. Jaimunga, okay, huge. So gaps are really created with large institutional money. That is what makes the gap. And that's why they're so good to play. The professional gaps that happen and play out in stocks are formed by one thing and one thing only, large institutional money. Therefore, you need a way that will help you pick the correct direction to play the gap. Why? Because not all gaps work in the direction of the gap. Some do and some reverse. By having a formula to rate and qualify the gap, you get confirmation and conviction that the large institutional money is on your side and then you play it. So gaps create a sense of urgency. Thus, an action is being forced by participants of the stock. This is why gap trading is incredibly powerful. Trading gaps is a powerful and profitable way to trade because you're trading on the side of power money. And that's how you can make 20 grand a month, 40 grand a month, as much as you want, depending on your risk, because it's made by institutions. These are not penny stocks. You're not looking to ever make that kind of money in penny stocks. Penny stocks are crap. The stocks that we trade or that I call in the room have companies, corporations, recognizable names, millions of shares that trade them every day. Okay. You will get filled in. You will get filled out. So gaps offer a payout with good risk to reward. And there is no substitute really for learning how to do this because that's going to help you qualify what makes sense to risk your money. What stocks can you get paid in? What's worth it? Okay. And, and you're doing this again to generate income. This isn't long-term investing. You're not Warren Buffett. You're, you're chunking it out. You're generating the income. If it's a small account, you could be looking to make just 100 bucks a day, but that's still $500 a week or two grand a month. That's real money, okay? It's the idea that you're taking the trade, whether you have a small account or a big account, correctly. Make sense? So what do I use? I use the Golden Gap rating system to determine what I'm doing, what trade I'm taking, where I'm doing it. And again, I do like to focus on the shorts. That's just my personal preference. But the 26 point rating system is what I teach in my class, which I usually teach once a month. It measures gaps by rating them on the daily chart to find stocks to trade that have one, a high probability of directional bias for the entire day, two, a big move in the day, three, early confirmation of the bias in the move between 9.30 and 10, and four, precise entries with follow through and a good risk to reward target potential. And that's very important. Okay, it's very, very important to have the high odds Got to have the odds with you. Now, we are talking about this earlier. How much should you risk to make how much? Don't stress out. If, if you don't know what your expectation is, it can be very stressful. And also, if you don't have 100% conviction that something's going to move up or down, that can stress you out. Don't take a trade if it's a 50-50. You really have to feel like this is high odds it's going to work. And that's where the rating system tells you. And also, that's why I prep before the market opens. It's not like I'm making trading decisions on the fly. I know in the morning I like Twitter or I like the market or whichever one I like well before the market opens, well before 9.30, okay? I'm not doing anything quickly on the live day without having rated the gap. So a lot of day traders are looking at things <coughs> and they are choosing trades to take, not even deciding until after 10 a.m., or as I know, if I even don't like anything or there's nothing to do before 9.30. Okay, makes sense. Now, this was a gap back from early February. Really nice mover in here. This was Twitter. Of course, everybody knows Twitter. Stock close to your gap down. I rated Twitter in the pre-market. I predicted the stock would drop on the day. It did. Then it also followed through. So you could have done this for two days. Here was the one minute chart. So we traded the one minute chart. Stock closed here the night before, gap down. Open, push back, dropped. Again, you're just looking for a move. This is a move. This is a move. 
This is a move. As a day trader, you're just taking it, getting out, taking it, getting out. Whether you do one trade or two trades, that's all that you need, okay? So this risk here is, again, for your goal to make 20 grand a month, should be around 1,000. So you took the trade, 3120 was the call, short. You could have taken 3,000 shares, risk of 1,050, exit 3048. Your profit would have been what? 2160. A beautiful trade, beautiful exit too. Okay, and again, this continued. Wish to reward, two minutes. Very short time in this trade, less than 15 minutes. Although you could have held it longer and you could have done a second trade in this. We get trades like this every week. Every week we get them, okay? So again, Twitter was a short. How did I know this was good? Because I rated it, I rated the gap. And this is what you come and learn from me. And when you're looking to take trades in the market, you really have to know what you're doing. It's not about, like I said, taking crap shoots or even 50-50. I'm very strategic with what I do. And that's the reason I'm successful. Any questions here so far? I'm gonna grab a little water. <coughs> Any questions? Okay, I keep going then. <coughs> Anyways, fast means fast. I mean, Twitter, you could have done and been out in five minutes. Now again, you could have held it for 15 minutes, 30 minutes, but you know, if you take a trade and you're risking 500 bucks and you're up 650 in five minutes, you're probably gonna get out. Now I do teach targets in the class. We do go over that. I do look for that. I have them in the, in the room in the morning, but it's not like it, it, when you're up your goal for the day, it's, the goal is not to get it to the target. The goal is to turn around your money. The goal is to make money. So, you know, targets are areas. I prefer a fast trade than even holding something longer to a target. Because when you're in a trade a long time, you always have any, any amount of kinds of things that could happen, okay? You have, Trump could talk, Trump could tweet, and there's so many different things that could happen to you. It's really best for you to get in and out as fast as you can, okay? <clears throat> now let's look here at NWL. As I said earlier, uh, I did the SPY on Friday, but I did call NWL. So the SPY was a long, NWL was a short. So I'm going to go over the NWL here as a day trade, and then I'm going to go over the SPY as an option trade, because the SPY is kind of pricey. So if I do something like in the SPY, in the day in the day trading room, and you don't want to do it as an equity trade, you can do it as an option. So I called the SPY as both, an equity trade and an option. The SPY was a long, NWL was a short. Anyways, here was the call. Again, stock closed here, gap down, rated in the morning, rated per my system over 20 points. So that told me this is a high odds that it is going to work as a short. Because remember, taking it in the direction of the gap, this gap down. A lot of people talk about gap fills. That doesn't work. Now, while why sometimes gaps may reverse, it is not a strategy that consistently works. And more importantly, it's not something that institutions or institutional money takes a position in. So that's why it's very important not to do that. Because if you want to have high odds, you have to go with institutions, okay? That's one of the reasons, again, why my system works. So NWL. One minute chart closed here. You can't see it because it's behind the clock. Gap down, boom. You could have taken it right out of the gate, got the drop and out. In this case here, the target was 18. I want to show you it fell right into 18 in the first five minutes of the day. Broke 18. Low was around 1780 something. It continued though. As I showed you here earlier, this went all the way down almost to 17. But again, if you're in this and you take them, you're up right away, get out. Anyways, here was the call, 1875, 45 cent risk, target 18. How much could you have made? Again, we're looking at risk for you to make the goal of 20 grand a month. Has to be a thousand dollar risk. So 1,125 was 2,500 shares of the 45 cent stop, target 18, although like I said, it went a dollar past that. 
total profit, what could you have made? Risking 1,125, was this a good risk to reward trade? Yes, total profit 1,875. Risk to reward was 1.67. Again, if you risk 1,100, your goal is 1,100. If you're up almost 1,900 in five minutes, what are you going to do? You're going to get out, hit the target. In this case here, it hit your risk to reward goal, exceeded it, and hit the target, and happened fast, okay? Great gap, great trade, great call, okay? So four minutes of the trade, and, and we, get it, we get lots of these, all right? <clears throat> now, I put these in here. These are all advanced risk again for options trades. This is completely, totally separate from the day trades. This is profits and options trades for an advanced risk. This is above and beyond what you would make in the, the day trading trades. And I'm showing you this here because you can do options too. Now, why would you want to do options trades? This is the tracking for 2019, all the calls in here. Why would you want to do options? Well, I'm going to pull up here this five chart like i said was a call from friday because obviously the market if you buy the spy as an equity trade you see the price in here 274 ish 275 it was 277 on friday 276 depends where you got in point is that's expensive and you still can trade on margin so some people prefer to do options in expensive things like the cues like the spy when i make a call like this like like even uh, uh, Apple, okay. I, don't, I didn't see where Apple closed on Friday, but something around $170 price point, $160, wherever it closed on Friday, that is something that sometimes people say, well, I'd rather do options. And if you don't have a margin account, options are good because you don't need margin to day trade options. So you can day trade options using my system as well. Again, it's about predicting where it's going to go. If it's gonna move higher, you buy a call. If it's going to move lower, you buy a put. Same concept where you rate the gap. You're just taking the trade in a different manner, either as an equity trade or an option. Follow me? So you pay the cost of the option if you do an option trade. If it costs a dollar, you pay a dollar. If the price of the of the stock is 274, you don't have to worry about having margin of 274 times however many shares you want to take. Make sense? And this is something if you have any questions about, you can ask me too. <clears throat> because the price of the stocks that we trade vary greatly i mean they could be five dollars they could be like i said all the way up you know to the cost of something like netflix or even tesla over 300 dollars a share but anyways in today's world having more money even if this is something that even if you like your job even if you don't want to change careers you just want to do this for extra money having more security is a good thing it is a positive thing you want to have more security how do you have more security? You have more money, more cash, and you also have something that's very important called earning power. So even if you had cash, if you don't have any way to make more cash, you don't even have as much security. When you've got the knowledge, like I have, I have a skill, I have a skill set that's the reason I'm talking on TV, and there's nothing that anyone can do to take that away from me. It's I, it's all me, okay? So I have, I have security, I have job security, I have income security because I have a skill. So if you come, you're paying me to learn something that's a skill, you learn the skill, and then you create your own security, and you use that skill to make money and income in the market, okay? And that is very, very powerful. It's more powerful than getting a job where someone pays you, okay? or having uh, uh, just money in the bank. If you know how to replicate a trade that you had a good trade where you made $1,000 over and over and over and over again for the rest of your life, that's security, okay? That's power. So lots of people are wanting job security. There, there, there isn't really that much of a thing in that. It's, it's just not the way it used to be years and years ago. I had a mortgage job for like 17 years and uh, that was a long time to be in one job. But I'm telling you, things have changed. And even that was, like I said, 10 years ago. So things have changed in this world. People are doing different things to, and, and, and actually embracing the idea of working for themselves. And, uh, and you do have to be a little bit forward thinking about this. But in the end, it will benefit you. So how do you do it? Think about it like you were running your own business or starting your own business. You have to put a plan of action in place. 
If you would go to a bank and apply for a business loan, they'd say, what's your business plan? You'd have to put it in writing. You'd have to put it down. You'd have to know how much you're risking. What are you doing? What strategy are you trading? What time of the day? What days are you trading? What stocks are you trading? Okay. Any questions so far? So how much do you need to risk per trade to make 20 grand a month? On average, I'd say $1,000 a trade. Sometimes you, know, you could risk a little less, sometimes a little more. Like I said, you know, this is an exact science. If you end up risking $1,100 by taking 2,500 shares, that's okay. But if you're risking $1,000 per trade on average, you don't want to risk 2,000 on some trades. That would be double. Once a trader is experienced though, with a system, you can learn to do ads, which we talk about in the room, to the original position. Doing ads helps you make more money with less risk. It will also help you get good at holding to bigger targets. So let's talk a little bit about what is an R. This is not a, this is not a concept I created, by the way. I created the Golden Gap 26 points, but I didn't create this R concept. This is used by other people out there. It really, one R is one risk unit. This is how you would size yourself, okay? So a risk unit is the amount of money you are risking per trade in dollars and cents. A risk unit should be sized according to the size of your cash balance in your account and your buying power combined. If you risk, for example, 5% of the cash balance risk per day, you can divide that into five trades if you want to. Now, five trades is a lot for me. Some of the days of I'm not having a good day, you can see I might have taken five trades. In an ideal world, I only take one trade a day and make my goal. But not every day is like that. Five is a lot, though. But anyways, if you want to take 5% risk, you can divide that into the number of trades, whether it's two or three or one or five. Okay, and that's how you're figuring it out. But the goal is to make one risk unit per trade, per trade. Golden Gaps provides setups that have a three R payout, usually for a really good trade, two to three. But your goal is one. So if you want to get two to three, you might have to hold it for a little bit longer. Like, for example, on the Twitter or the NWL, those were higher risk trades if you held them. Okay. So for every trade, you're, you're risking a buck, trying to make a buck. If you want to try to make three or more, we've had some 10-hour trades. You may have to hold them longer. And I call that the dream target. Actually, the market, market's going to the dream target almost every time I call it, it seems. A good risk to reward pad is one of the most significant reasons to learn the Golden Gap system and why. Because a lot of places out there teach to take a trade and then I call it a scalp where you take a trade and you may risk a dollar and then you make 20 cents. That to me is not what I would consider a good risk to reward. That, that I would consider too risky, like not worth the risk to take the trade. You know what I'm saying? So if you're a beginner, you could risk $100 as your R. No one says you have to risk a 1000 The $1,000 R is if you want to make 20 grand a month. But if you want to risk $100 as your R unit, that's still 100 bucks more or $500 more per week than you would have before. And many people that are trading are losing money trading. So if, you're, if you want to risk $100 a trade, it's not a lot. You're positive if you're up, you can grow your account, okay? I think if you're new, there's nothing wrong with it. You could start out trading with a $100 R unit, like right after the class, then step it up. Then step it up to risk 1,000, okay? That could be in your trading plan. First week, risk 100. Second week, risk 200. If you could do it like that, okay? Anyways, your goal though is really to make $1,000 if you're risking 1,000 to get to the 20 grand a month. So it's basically five hours a week, okay? And what if, what if you risk half that? What if you risk 500 per trade? That's still 120 grand a year, 10 grand a month, and that's not nothing to sneeze at. That's a lot of money. That is enough money and more money than some people make at their jobs, okay? Any questions from anyone? But the point I'm trying to say here is that once you become skilled at doing it, the sky is the limit. You know, I, I, last year you can go to the tracking for the year. Last year is on, on my YouTube channel. You can watch it. You know, you can, you can make 40 grand a month following my trades, but you're going to have to risk 2,000. You could risk even more if you have an account with the buying power to do it. It's really just learning it, doing it risking what you can afford based on the size of your account while you're doing that while you're growing your account you're getting better at it i'm calling the trades you're seeing them you follow me and you're learning the whole time you go but i mean it's totally possible to do this and achieve your dreams and i think the best thing about 
teaching people and having a business is the gratification I see of people actually doing it. And someone like I explained, like, like a nurse Jackie, who has had no experience. I mean, it just goes to show you, you don't have to have any experience to do it. And sometimes I have people that struggle that can't just can't get bad habits out of their head. But you are the person that's in control of your decisions and your choices and your brain. You control your brain. Somebody else doesn't control your brain. When someone says to me, well, I learned this, I have a bad habit, I'm doing this, well, then just stop doing it. I mean, it's like, somebody isn't controlling you outside of you. You're controlling you, and you're controlling your brain. And if you're making choices that you know are wrong, then stop doing it, okay? This isn't rocket science. The rocket science, the genius of my system, took me three years to create. That was hard. That wasn't easy. But now that I created it, you can come and learn from me and pay me to learn it and then take the trades in the room, okay? So in that sense, I've, I shortened the learning curve for you and made it easier because you can learn what I know directly from me. You don't have to create a whole thing. So think about why you're doing this. Know what the goal is. Saving for retirement, changing jobs, having more money to do other stuff. What? Why are you doing this? You know, for me personally, it was a multitude of reasons. I did not want to do mortgages anymore. The hours were too long. I was making good money, but I, I, I was not making as easy money as I had in the past. And I realized it was becoming harder and harder to get loans approved with the banks as the mortgage lending business had changed. It was becoming extremely difficult. And so I had a lot of reasons why. And I also wanted to have the unlimited income potential the market can provide which at one point I had with doing mortgages, but then the housing industry changed. So, you know, you really kind of have to know why are you doing this? I was very clear <coughs> that I wanted to change careers when I started out in 2008. So, I mean, that's that was my path. But, you know, everybody has a different goal, but I do think you have to know what that goal is. And you have to be willing to think outside of the box. Not everything is always gonna set up perfectly. What do I mean? You have 100 grand in the bank, you can quit your job today. You have all the time in the world to trade and take the class and not have to do anything else. Yeah, that would be great. That's not reality for a lot of people. So you have to think outside the box. How can I start this process of learning how to do this and becoming a professional trader while doing my current job? How can I do them both together for a while at the same time till I make the shift? I mean, you have to think outside of the box. You may have to make some sacrifices. The cost of the class is a sacrifice. The weekend, the whole weekend to do the class. My class is this weekend. It's all day Saturday and all day Sunday. You give up your weekend. There's sacrifices you make when you're in a transition in your life. So you have to think outside the box. Well, how can I make it work? Trust me, when you are determined to make something work in your life that you have as a goal and a dream, you can make it happen. If you're waiting for everything to line up perfectly, the chances of that happening are slim. I'm not saying impossible, but usually that's not how it works. And one of the reasons is because life is challenging you. Life is challenging you to say, how badly do you want to do this thing? Well, if you want to do it, you're going to have to make sacrifices. And that's what you have to do. So I think it's good to look for, if you're a beginner, what's your plan of action? Take the Golden Gap course. Learn how to rate gaps and practice taking the entries trading on a demo for a week or small risk. Then go live. Risk 50 bucks, 100 bucks for a month. Okay. Build the experience. Then bump it up. 150, 200, 300, 500. Just bump it up every week or every month as you get better and better and better in doing it. But you have to start somewhere. And that's, that was my whole point too. If you can't afford to risk a thousand dollars a trade, then obviously you can't. But what's wrong with risking what you can afford? Nothing. Okay. At least you'll make some money and learn. There's nothing wrong with small risk. Okay. And if you're new, sometimes that's more comfortable for people. If you can afford to and you understand the system, though, you can risk a thousand. But once you get to the point where you can average 20 grand a month, you're just, the sky's the limit. I mean, you know, you're doing it. That is, for a lot of people, an amount of money that they can sustain to live on as a career, <coughs> and you can move forward from that, okay? Any questions so far? But it's really, really important to focus on the right information. The right information to focus on in charts is price. I, it's technical analysis, that's what I do, but it's technical analysis and gaps. Gaps show you price on an advanced level, which allows a trader to predict the movement the stock will make before it does. The most valuable information for people to trade can be found in reading price action and gaps. Understanding chart reading of gaps and how important the patterns of price are in the market will assist you 
and being profitable. Trading gaps is a high paying strategy because gaps are created by institutional money. Knowing this helps give you conviction to trade and then take the risk, okay? Which is how you're gonna make the money because you can't make any money unless you take the risk. So you learn how to see gaps clearly. And that's, I mean, that's what I'm, that's what I'm doing. I do that in the pre-market. And also how they're creating the trends, changing trends and making momentum. So trading gaps is a powerful strategy and this is how professionals trade. You can use a sophisticated level of price information to enter trades and take sizable positions. Taking sizable positions will help you attain the income level that you want. So you got to gain the skills so that you can risk the money to, to get there. Okay. So the Golden Gap course teaches a 26 point rating system. If you want to learn my system, I teach the class once a month. The class is this weekend. You will learn how to find the best stock to trade each day. That is what I do. The course also teaches you how to enter and exit the stock on the day as a day trade. The course teaches price analysis and technical analysis on an advanced level, really advanced, okay? But if you're new, it doesn't matter. The course teaches a more proficient way to read support and resistance in the right direction. Many people do that wrong too. And the course teaches you to focus on one strategy in a detailed manner so you can become a good trader because that really should be your goal when you want to get good. Once you get good, you can make all the money in the world. So the 26 point checklist tells you what to look for. Boom, boom, boom. I go down. This is what you learn in the class. Check it off, learn it, do it. Okay. And you might rate five things in the morning. You can watch them all. Okay. I usually go with the top rated one. So again, who is a golden gap system for? If you are interested in day trading, if you want to work from home, if you don't have a lot of time, to sit and trade all day because these moves do happen in the first half an hour, first hour of the day. You don't have to be at your computer all day until four o'clock. And if you really are looking to transition in your life to work for yourself. I worked for myself when I worked for a mortgage company because I really worked from home and I set my own hours and I did my own thing. So I've worked for myself for, a, for a, almost my whole life, okay? To think of going back to working for someone else now, I, I would never do it. But I'm telling you, you know, if you, if you get to that place where you're working for yourself, you say, this is it. And if you work for somebody else now and you hate it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But it is about the consistency. You can't, you, that's why you stop. So I take a trade, if it doesn't work, I, ha, I have a stop. Like some of those trades I showed you from earlier this year, some were stops. So one, one day last week was a losing day. So, you know, Thursday, when you, take a trade you have to have a kill point and that is the stop that will keep you on track to keep the money that you make on the positive days it's about the consistency monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday your whole week shouldn't go on one day okay that's why you can't get out of control but anyways i teach my method is a complete and total system to learn how to trade the golden gap course is a complete system you're on the entries the exits are 26 points it's a full two-day course on how to strategically find, pick, and play stocks that are professional bearish gaps. Class is online. You can be anywhere in the world and take it. So the class is this weekend. It is earnings season. It's a good time to trade and be in the class. You must take my class to join the live trading room. Class is February 23rd and 24th from 9 to 5 Eastern time. Cost of the class is $59.99 US dollars. If you want to sign up, you can email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. And I have a combo. Trends class is Monday. So you save, if you sign up for both together, you get two classes, three days of classes. Boom, boom, boom. Trends is for long-term trend swing trading options or even to help you with your day trading, okay? But you've got to start making real money in the market if you're doing this. I mean, I talk to people that are just losing all the time and they just waste their time and I don't know why. If you're going to do it, I say go full on. Take the class, spend the money, open an account, invest the time. Just pittering away, losing or getting nowhere for years is such a waste of time. One of the most important commodities in my life in the last, I'd say two years really, since I started doing television is time. It's very important what you spend your time doing. And there's just nothing like making money that helps your confidence. So if you've been on a losing streak, or you've taken classes and haven't learned what to do, there's nothing that can turn that around for you better than actually green, no matter how much money it is. You will gain confidence as you make money and it will help you move forward okay and get over the bad habits and things that you may have done in the past mistakes you've made any questions so take the leap into your market 
into your future and the market and do it is what I say. Anyone have any questions about anything at all? Kathy put my information. It's Melissa at the stockswoosh.com. If you have questions. Again, market closed today. We'll see what we get the rest of the week. I'm running, I'm doing an open house this week, Tuesday through Friday. Email me if you want the information for the open house. Classes this weekend, email me if you have questions about that. Okay. Listen, have a wonderful night, everyone. Thank you so much for coming. And I will see you when I see you. Very good, thanks.